This might be the D12, but there's nothing dirty about this dozen. Old Line Watches. Welcome back to Old Line Watches. With you as always is Jeremy, your old man from the Old Line State of Maryland. And today we are doing a review of the Vario 1945 D12. This is a true homage to the so-called Dirty Dozen field watches that were issued to the Allied forces during World War II. They all had in common railroad-style minute tracks, good loom, and a small seconds movement to increase legibility so that you wouldn't mistake the second hand for the minute hand. Many of the manufacturers of the Dirty Dozen have since gone defunct, but such big names as Omega, IWC, Longines, and J.J. Lecrut uh, made these for the Allies during the war. Stats and specs. And diving right in on this modern version of it, we have a diameter of 37 millimeter with a lug to lug of 45, lug width of 18 millimeter, 10 and a half mil thick, and weighs in at 66.3 grams. Timekeeping power is brought to us by a Miyota 82S5. Hacking and hand winding available, but full automatic. Encased in 316L stainless steel with a very nice mix of brushed and polished finishes. The polish on the outer bezel and the camphers in particular is very nice as well as drilled lugs and a nice angle to them for a comfortable fit. It's protected by a sapphire crystal with an inner AR coating. The crown at 410-ish is screwed down, signed, and loomed. The case back features your basic stat line, including 10 atmospheres of water resistance and has a vintage uh, British soldier superimposed against a modern soldier of Singapore. You can see the night vision goggles and helmet there. And it is a nice nod to both the Allied war effort and to the Singaporean origins of the brand. It holds onto the wrist via a Cordura strap with reinforced eyelets Really well done stitching, quick release spring bars, uh, just really durable, well made, signed buckle. Vario are known for the quality and design of their straps. The dial has a very nice sandy texture to it with the Vario name between the main pinion and the 12 o'clock, very subtly done. You have to really like catch it at the right angle for it to even be visible, which I really dig. Uh, the minute track is all printed and has C3 loom at each of the hours, as well as at the broad arrow at the 12. The Arabics are very thickly loomed. You can see the definition of how thick the loom is on there. The new Arabics are loomed with BGW9. A small seconds at six o'clock with a flat mat base to it and the hand is not loomed. The hands themselves are syringe style and loomed with C3. And here it is as it sits on my six and three quarter inch wrist where it's very nice, super comfy. And for a little variety, here it is on a very nice Italian leather strap, also from Vario. Props and slops. On to the props. This is a fantastic and faithful recreation of the D12 design, while still allowing Ivan and Judy's design aesthetic to shine through, but not overpower. It is still very much a Vario watch. It just also happens to be an excellent homage to the D12. On the slops, um, 
This is actually uh, Miyota's higher grade movement from their regular 8000 series um, with like nice engraving and everything on the movement. I would have liked to see a exhibition case back to actually see that pretty movement. And this other complaint is really just bad luck more than anything. You couldn't space these holes together any better but for some reason my perfect spot is like right in between two holes so it's either just a little too tight or a little too loose but that's really just bad luck. Uh, you can't get those holes closer together without affecting the structural integrity of the strap itself. So uh, it was a part of my experience, so I'm sharing it, but I definitely don't hold it against them in any way at all. The bottom line. Bottom line. This retails on the Vario website for $368. The black colorway is currently sold out until August, I want to say. Um, they have other colorways, including a very beautiful green. Um, you can often, I mean, pretty much always, dig a 5% coupon for signing up for their email list, which puts it at $350 uh, shipped, which I think is a very fair price for what you're getting. Uh, looking for a used example, um, they don't come up very often, and... You're not gonna have your pick of the litter as far as like colorways and stuff go. Uh, this is a pretty new one here, so don't expect to see any really on the secondary market yet, but just historically for Vario, mm, like on eBay, there might be like eight or 10 pieces listed at any given time. And even then uh, you're not getting much of a discount even really. So, you know, just, uh, Help the makers out directly and just pick it up right from them. You'll have a great experience. They're awesome. If you have any questions, they'll be glad to answer them. Um, just fantastic brand owners. I love them to death. They're fantastic human beings. Uh, I got to actually meet Ivan in person at the District Time Show this year. Great gentleman. Had a great little talk with him. Wish I could have spent more time, but he was super busy because the place was packed. So that was our review of the D12. And until next time, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. This is your old man from the old line state, signing off.